up, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of All Shook Up Jeep and Come On. Let's get at it. Something different today. Something different today. We are not working on puppers. We're not working on All Shook Up. What are we doing today? Well, it's really close to Easter. Part of Jeeping is friends and family hanging out, having a good time with everybody, right? Could you agree with me on that? So check this out. This is what we're going to do today. There's Miss Jenny. Hey, baby. Hi. What's going on today? Uh, we're going to have a really nice dinner with some family and friends. Check this out. I already got this prepped up. Spiral cut ham. Dressed it up with some of the meat shirts. Let's run out back right quick. Don't get too dizzy. I'm tossing and turning today. Got the locker box. Got the XL hooked up. Fired up. Traeger signature today. We're going to check that out and see see how we like that. We hear it's good. So, But making my famous jalapeno poppers, fresh jalapenos, we make a mixture that it consists of cream cheese. Holy voodoo for Meat Church. This is a Meat Church family. Come on. Little Cavenders, a little cayenne pepper to kick it up, and this. The hottest stuff I've ever tried in my life. So you just take a little, right here, not too much because it will light you up. Uh, but follow along, I'll show you how we make this. Uh, what we start off with is we use a couple of boxes of the cream cheese, and it doesn't matter what kind you use. It's just a, a binder for everything else. I warm it up in the microwave for about a minute and a half, two minutes. Not hot, just enough you can really work with it. Uh, then we throw in cheese. Today we're going to do a little Colby Jack, a little Fiesta blend. We're going to mix that together real good, and then we're going to add our seasonings. Actually, we'll probably add our seasonings first, mix that up, and then throw in the cheese. Then it's a cool little chop, chop, split, fill. And then guess what, guys? We're bacon wrapping them. Can't have a jalapeno without bacon. Come on. Not only is this a meat church house, it's a bacon house. <laughs> a happy house has meat church and bacon in it. Come on. Right. Let's start mixing this together. All right, so we started out with, with two boxes of cream cheese. That's eight ounces. I always just call them boxes. And we've already warmed it up. But see how that see how that's a lot more workable? I didn't know that trick till a couple years ago. I, I, I was in here breaking spoons trying to stir that stuff. Holy voodoo. It's not real hot. has a good flavor and just a little bit of heat on the back end so and we're gonna put you're gonna say oh my gosh you're using too much about that you get a good cover a little bit of cavities just like that and this is where i gotta slow down because not everybody likes hot stuff like i do just about like that and then the devil dust and i'm telling you guys it is it's from mexico and we're only going to use about that much of it. That's not much. Uh, that is enough to say, whoo, that's hot. But it's also enough to say, man, I want another one. Come on, let's go. So we're just going to mix this up together. And we want to get this mixed pretty good. Look at that. Look at that. That's looking good. That's looking good. Well, y'all remember you used to watch Justin Wilson back in the day, and he'd say, Ah, how y'all are? Well, I'm there today. Come on. Jalapeno poppers. All shook up Jeep. Let's go. Cheese. And here's the deal. If you have a bunch of half-used cheese bags like we do in this house, man, just throw them in here. Get rid of them. Nobody uses a little bit of cheese at the end of the package, right? So, we're just going to do that. I eyeballed it. Put my eye on it. That's about a cup. And then we're going to take about a cup out of this one, which is finally shredded. I don't know. I, I don't know how much that costs. I don't know. But if it doesn't, this, this is what it is. If I put too much in here, huh, got another box we can throw in there. So we're going to mix that all up real nice and good. Then we'll start cutting the jalapenos. Look at that. It's not... It's getting there. I put too much cheese in it. I don't think so. I don't think so. It kind of makes almost a paste of it. The point is, is that when it heats up, warms up outside on the on the old pit boss, it's just not going to go spilling out. So that's good. You can, you can cut that. All right. 
this is my process. Now everybody uses a different process, but this just happens to be my process. When you cut them, you want your jalapeno to kind of lay flat on the grill. That, that'll help a guy out. I've learned. No fun losing the stuffing. I don't like the little, I call them the tails. So what I do, is I just cut them off like that. Just like that. I'm not cutting the whole back of it off. See, that's still solid right there. And that's kind of key. That's how you're going to hold everything in. So I'll just take it from here, split it right in half. Take this one, split it right in half. Now, we're flipping over. Bada boom, bada bing. And this is it right here. This is what we do. We do that with the spoon right there, right? Then we just kind of work our way up. De-seed it. Sometimes I leave a few in there. That's really what it is. The goodness is, but not everybody likes that. So, make a little door. Cut it out. And they don't have to be perfect, guys. That one. That one was cut a little wonky. That's okay. Nobody's ever told me I've gotten a C on these. They just say they're really good. So, I wasn't no A student anyway. So, that's my disclaimer. I, I wasn't an A student. Come on. Average, average fella. So, now we got some that are looking like this. Now I'm going to come over here to the goodness mix. And yes, I did put that other box of cream cheese in there. Yeah, I'm heavy on the cheese. I'm, I'm hungry. That's a mistake one. Don't, don't cook when you're hungry. Don't go grocery shopping when you're hungry. So what we do, let's start with this guy. Let's pack it in there like that. Now, it don't have to be perfect. You're just putting it in there like that. And don't dog me for not wearing gloves because I ain't cooking for a restaurant today. I'm cooking for the family. The family got a... The rest of all shook up Jeep will be over here a little bit later on. And we're just going to kick it old school and just have a good time. I think a lot of times Jeepers eat good. I don't know if you've noticed that, but we'll grill anything on the grill. Um, and we'll say it tastes good. But today we're really making some stuff that tastes good. So... Out of the campsites, into the house. The Jeeps will be parked out front. We can look at them and drool over them later. But today, we're just going to eat like kings and queens. Amen? Amen. All right. So, what we'll do from this point here, and this, don't be skippy with the bacon. One piece of bacon. We're going to wrap it. And we're going to wrap it. And we're going to wrap it. That's it. That's my jalapeno poppers right there. So, let me show that again. We we learn in the camera stuff, so I don't know if we can do slow mo yet, but I just do it in slow mo. Slow mo. No. <laughs> All right, that's it. It's it is a full piece of bacon for it, and in. I don't know, but that's it. That's it. So I'm gonna load all these up. We take them to the grill. We're gonna we're gonna cook them low. We're gonna get a lot of smoke in these things. So we're gonna be. 250 to 300 and about the last 10 minutes before I take them off I'm going to ramp that dude up to about 450 just to get a good crisp on the bacon and we eat them along the way so I don't know how many we end up with but uh, we buy two pounds at a time and split them in half it gives us about 40 uh, of the jalapeno poppers so a lot of people uh, cut them and core them and then stuff them ah, that's too much work for me we just split them half gut them fill them wrap them cook them in the yeah, we're going to hit them with a little bit of that voodoo sauce uh, this right here, the Meat Church Holy Voodoo, come on. We're going to sprinkle that right on top of it. It just gives a little bit of added flavor, so uh, we'll get back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, check this out. Fresh off the pit boss. Look at that color. Everything looks good. Oh, let's let's try it out. Okay, honest opinion. First bite. Very good. Very good. Lucas? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs Rocky. up, man. Try to get me a little. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Not too much cheese, though. Oh, so good. All right, guys, from our family of yours, happy Easter. You guys get out there and go Jeep and don't worry about this. That might be another video. What you know about smoked cinnamon rolls? Come on. All right, guys, y'all be good. Keep Jeeping.